If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. Hello there, you're watching Retail Therapy Television Art and Craft. Who's that waving at you, boys and girls? It's, it's Ted. little Ted. It is. And Carol that's Vernon. definitely showing our age. I know. <laughs> Carol Vernon, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, Carol Vernon. Never get the two mixed up. <laughs> Both very nice for squeezing, though, I would imagine. Oh, oh, oh. this is lovely. And he this is, is once again lovely. exclusive to us here, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. Now, he comes in a kit for, for you to make up yourself. So right. it's not a ready-made Ted. And so you can put your own individual mark on him as you're making him up. So let's be very clear about this one, because the thing is that we're, we're not talking really about a toy here, no, are we? Not a toy, no. This is This is a, nearly a collectible, it is isn't it? It's a collectible, it? yeah. And uh, we're going to supply everything you need, so we're going to apply the fur. The fur. Uh, what else? All the joints. So he's actually a, a movable jointed teddy bear. Right. We've got beautiful black glass eyes. Right. Um, we've got the pattern. We've got the beads for stuffing him so it makes him all nice and squashy. Mm -hmm. And also the teddy bear fur. Uh, sorry, uh, filling. We've also got extra strong cotton. Right. Cotton for his nose. We've got a birth certificate to come with him and all the instructions for the assembly as well. So that's what you're going to be getting in your pack. Uh, the plans, uh, when, I, when I saw this, I said he's, he's got to be very, very difficult, very complicated no, to make. He isn't. No, he isn't at all. And that's why we, we did it the way we did. Um, it's not a tiny bear, so he's not fiddly, so you can actually sew him on the sewing machine. You don't have to hand sew him. Mm -hmm. You can hand sew him if you like. And the cotton is extra strong, so you can give it a good tug and make sure the seams don't come undone. Um, he's got lovely little suede paws and the instructions are so clear and concise. Well, I was just, I was just looking, so this is, this yeah, is the plan. Yeah, that's the actual pattern. That's yeah. the pattern, isn't it? Now, the nice thing about the pattern, when you're teddy bear, when you're making teddy bears, usually the patterns all come, um, you'll get one leg and it'll say cut, one, cut two, cut one in reverse, and it all gets quite complicated. Right. So to stop that, we've done the whole pattern, we've done four legs, and the arrow points the way the fabric has to lie. Oh, that's a really good idea, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a little bit larger pattern than you would usually get, but because each piece is on and each piece is sort of arrowed the way we need it to go, it's fantastic. I think even I could understand yeah. that. And of course, when you, once you've cut your pattern out, you can put it straight onto the back of the fabric, because you have to cut the fabric on the back. And you don't have to, a lot of the time you have to trace them out and, and whatever, mm -hmm. but now you can place the, the pattern straight onto the fabric and cut it out, now, because you've got the right amount of pieces. When you cut it out, what are you left with then? We're left with, and I'll just put these together, but the leg we've done, so it's quite quite easy. I'll just undo this. It's one piece leg. So you oh, don't have idea, yeah. the extra seam. Mm -hmm. So once you've got your leg like that, you just fold it in half and machine or hand sew wherever it tells you on the pattern. There are openings which you've obviously got to leave for, for stuffing later on. Yeah. So you would or it'd be a flat tear. It would be a bit flat, wouldn't it? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> we can't have that. So once that's all done, you can put your paw pads into the openings. Right. And also on the pattern are all the joint holes, so you can push the joints through. And it really explains to you step by step. Now, th that's always a problem when, uh, and I suppose it's what makes a collectible bear and a, t uh, a collectible bear a, or a toy bear, the yeah. difference. And it's our, it's our actual joints. Now, the these joints. are the joints that come with it, aren't they? Yeah. Now, these are called the safety joints. Now, that means they're actually very strong, doesn't it? They're very strong, yeah. Um, and they, they click together, so they are quite difficult to, to remove. Mm -hmm. um, but some people find it hard. When you, when you get these three pieces, they wonder what on earth you, you do with them and where you put them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just show you that very quickly. You will need two pieces of fabric. Mm -hmm. Just pop them together, right sides together, and then you'll make a hole where it tells you to for the joints. So you make quite a large hole because it, it's got quite a large stem. You can snip it if needs be. The, uh, the fur on this is beautifully woven and it doesn't sort of run, so you can make a snip in it quite, quite easily and happily. And you push the male part of the joint through the hole, like that, mm -hmm. straight through to the other side. Then you put the bigger of the two round uh, discs 
over that. That's to keep your fabric flat, uh, flat mm -hmm. for, for no other purpose. And this is your locking. Now, just washer. before you put that on, I can yeah. see just just can looking see it's at it. It's a little bit different. It's aren't you? it's raised on one side. It is. That's right. Now that needs to be to the outside. All right. You need the smooth side as close as you can to the other washer. Okay. So you don't need gaps between it because that'll give you movement then. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just pop that on and you will hopefully hear it click as you push it on. Oh yeah, we heard yeah. that. And now the two pieces of fabric are quite tightly joined together, but as you can see, look, you can move them mm -hmm. and that's how you get your arms and your legs to move nicely. Okay. And, and I take it that when we're talking about the fabric, we're actually... This is the fur fabric. That would be the fur fabric yeah. that would be there. I did there. this because with the fur, you can't always see um, mm -hmm. the, the nuts and washers. So I thought if I do it on plain fabric, we can see that easily. Uh, another question then will come up. So that's the joints. Mm -hmm. So we've got the, the shoulder joints and we've also got uh, the leg joints. Yeah. What about eyes? The eyes are beautiful. Hand-blown glass eyes. We can see that. Mm -hmm. They really are beautiful and they, they really shine nicely. Now, in the kit, we have extra strong thread, as, as I explained. And what you do is you thread your needle and you put the needle through the loop on the eye mm -hmm. and make a small insert into the teddy bear's face. Mm -hmm. And then you push the needle right the way through the teddy bear, right through his head to the back of his ear and pull his eye tight and then the eye will fit nice and snugly into the hole. And actually by doing that as well it gives the shape of the nose doesn't it? It does, yeah. It starts to give that upper area. A bit of a pull, yeah. yeah. And that's what makes it quite the collectible rather than just a toy because these are not safety eyes. These are hand-blown glass collectible teddy bear eyes. Now, we talked briefly about the nose and I see we've got some we've black got some cotton black for cotton, them. cotton, yeah. And in the, in the instructions are all different shapes for noses. So you can either you can personalize them. cut them out, pop them on and then sort of uh, draw around them and stitch over them. Or you can just go ahead and do your own. Do your own nose. Yeah, I mean on this one. <laughs> That'd I've... be unfortunate, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's looking at you strangely. Yeah, yeah. Look, mm. that way, camera's maybe, that way. Maybe not, he's, uh, <laughs> he's a bit frightened, look now, he's shaking. <laughs> and of course it can be either a little a boy bear boy, or, or a little, little girl, girl bear. Yeah, we've got the ribbon that uh, comes with it. So there's blue and there's pink in the kit. Mm -hmm. So um, you can put on whichever. In fact, if you'd like to tie the two together, you can have uh, just a mixed bow. And the other thing I suppose about this as well is that we said that they are, it's a collectible bear. It is. So we're also got his certificate. His little certificate, yes, we've got his birth certificate. So once you've uh, actually finished him, put the finishing touches to him, then you can give him his name. So there we are. Now, if you want to get your kit, just have a look on our website, under kits in fact, and uh, you'll find everything you need to make this really truly enchanting bear. And remember, not a toy, a collectible bear, a bear that's collectible that you make yourself. It comes with everything you need, all the joints. It comes with all the plans. It comes with all the threads. It comes with everything you need, including the stuffing too. And uh, it's exclusive to us here at Retail Therapy Television for the simple reason, because it's one of Carol's designs and you can see. And also, let's just have one last look at the material that you get. Yeah, you get material. all the material. Let me just watch these pins, because I don't yeah. want you to start screaming on the... Ooh, it's it feels lovely and soft. And soft, isn't it? We want to see a picture of your teddy bear, your teddy bear, all with clothes on if you wish. Oh, and no. boom, boom. <laughs> and uh, simply just uh, send them via email to us here at Retail Therapy Television. If you want to get your bear, make certain you get online and you purchase yours right now. Anything else we need to say about bear? Maybe. Bye He's bye, lovely. everybody. He's lovely and, <laughs> and soft. Bye bye. So we'll just, are you waving back? I hope so. You'll be crying if not, look. Mm-hmm.